Hi there, welcome to Expo Hub channel. Today we are going to learn practical exercise number 33 and let's see what is there inside it. In case you are new to our channel, how our contents are helping subscribers to get a job and here are a couple of samples which you may go through and how you can take maximum benefit. To take maximum benefit, let me tell you almost all the topics we have covered and all the contents, all the questions that you might have on UiPath, you, you will find them if you go to the video sections or the playlist. So we have organized everything in chapter wise manner and you can take benefit of them. With that, let's get started to our exercise and understand it. So this is our exercise where you have to first of all create two sheets, pretty simple, create a two sheet and in one sheet you have product ID and the other uh, column you have the product name, okay, product ID and product name is there and the C column is blank. Why it is left blank? It is because it's for you to design the workflow and the sheet two, right, you will have sheet one, this data and sheet two, right side data. Here. Um, in the sheet 2 you have got product ID and cost so if you see only product ID and cost is associated cost is written here pretty simple now you have to design a workflow which is going to match with the sheet 2 and it is going to write the values accordingly okay so this re requires so this requires bit of uh, uh, techniques that you have to apply so yesterday in the previous exercise, I have taught you about lookup data table. Okay. I hope you have gone through that lookup data table. Only if you have gone through the lookup table, do this exercise. If not, please complete the previous exercise lookup data table. If you are aware, you can continue. If you know how to use the lookup data table. Okay. Now using lookup data table, you have to design a workflow, which is going to fill out all these values. Okay. This is the task. So the task is understood. So once you have completed the exercise, please do mark yes. Why I'm saying please do mark yes, because I'm literally try, trying to take a count of people, how many are completing the exercise. So please do mark yes and click on the subscribe for more such contents. If you are a new visitor, please get connected with our Expo family. So with that, let's go start. You can pause the video and uh, start designing it. Otherwise, if you wanted to learn from me, you can always continue to watch this video and watch till the end. So let's go back and go to the studio and start designing it. Okay. So the very first thing I need the Excel file. Okay. So I've designed a pretty simple data. 10,001, 10,002. You can, you know, highlight and drag and drop. You can create this simple data. Then A, B, C, D. You can write. Okay. And then cost. These three columns you have prepared. Similar way in the sheet too. You can have the same product ID copy paste and the cost you write some 100, 200. Okay. So what is there is the content is not the matter. The matter is how can we design this? What is the logic one can develop? Okay. So this can be done in various ways. As I always say, this is not the only way I'm teaching. You could do it in multiple different way, apply multiple different logics and achieve the same objective. Okay. So let's, let's see what I am going to do. So here to achieve this, uh, let me use a for each row okay and here what i am doing i have read first sheet storing in dt1 second sheet storing in dt2 these are the two different variables i should be aware so where i want the output i want the output in sheet one right here the output should come the final result so what i want to do i want to loop through the first one dt1 that is sheet one i want to loop through the entire data okay now what i want i will use a lookup data table Okay, so this is the trick lookup data table I'm using and here in the lookup data table, what you want to look, you want to go to sheet two and as per the value of this product IDs, you should see whichever the product ID, ID is matching, it should show the value. For example, if I delete, let's say 1008, I'm going to delete it. So for 1008, it, it will left blank. It should leave blank because the 1008 is not is there in sheet one, but I have just now deleted 1008 because 1008 is not there. It will not find value and should write nothing in, it should leave it blank. Okay. So if that is the case, how do I do it? So first of all, I'm using a lookup data table. 
and where it should look it should look in data table 2 okay what value it should look which value it should look it should look for the product id from the data table 1 so row okay and here i am going to write uh, zero because that is the first index where the product id is available so dot to string done pretty simple okay it is going to look for this value row zero and row is nothing but representing dt1 so it is going to go to the data table 1 and look you know punch in one one value and it is going to search as the loop is running one one value it is going to search in data table 2 okay now this particular lookup value which column in data table 2 available it is again available in the column number 0 in the first uh, column only it is available so i am saying column number 0 okay and then uh, what is the output i want i want the output from the column number 1 column number 1 is nothing but the cost so i am saying column number 1 pretty simple is it use okay now after i do this after i do this i want the output to be stored in a variable so i will say control plus k and i will say output okay so i am going to store this output in a variable so before i write it to sheet 1 let me sheet in a message box so let me use a message box and try to understand if the values are coming or not correct so here i will say output okay and let me run it so before i run because i am using a workbook let me close this and simply run this okay uh, string string converter cannot convert from system dot double so there is an error which has come saying uh, the output that you are storing that is not exactly a string so what you do in such cases either you can make this from string to generic value ui path dot core dot generic value search for it okay so if you do this to generic value this is going to work let me run it again see first value has come 100 so just let's go through it then 200 then 300 400 500 600 700 and then because i have deleted this 1008 so it will not find the value so it will come as blank hey 1008 i have deleted but it is still there huh? okay i did not save it probably okay so everything is coming properly so let me check the file why how come the 1008 has come probably i have not saved it um let me open the file go to sheet 2 uh, see I, have, I did not save it so let me delete it and save it and let's run it once again okay okay so th this is becoming interesting right so 100 200 300 400 500 600 so after 700 it should show blank because the 1008 it could not find 1008 because i have deleted manually now okay so now from 900 showing getting it so the outputs are coming in the message box so let me stop it and let's design how will you write so this is very interesting now from here how will i write it to data table one so what i do i'll use a write cell activity instead of write range because it is going through loop one one data is coming at a time right so what i can do is there is multiple ways again so here i am using a write cell activity and i am going to point out to that particular file okay and then here it should write in the sheet number so here it, it should write in c which is 0 1 2 column index 2 it should write in the column index 2 which is nothing but c2 so this one is c2 this one is c2 and uh, if i go by row by row so the row starts from here so the row index is 0 okay so this one as per excel as per excel this particular place is called c3 okay but as per the row index it is 1 when the loop is running right so uh, loop is running the row index is 1 indicating this particular value so how can i formulate this 
okay to formulate this all you have to know whatever the row index is there plus 2 if you do automatically it is becoming 2 if i do plus 2 here it is 1 plus 2 3 so all you have to do here using that particular technique i am going to change this to c okay and here i am going to write plus and i have to first of all fetch the row index so for that i am using data table 1 this one i have taught several times row in uh, in the previous activities also rows dot index of okay so this is very important and then here i am going to write row why i am writing row because i am in the for each row okay so i am using that row so here it is going to find the index number after finding the index number it should do a plus 2 so that is all we have learned right if i do plus 2 automatically it is going to say c2 c3 c4 like that it will continue okay 0 plus 2 will be c2 so the output final output here it will become c2 then the next time when the loop runs uh, the row index will be 1 1 plus 2 3 so the, finally the output will become c3 c4 so like that it will continue to write 1 1 cell getting it every time the loop is running the value is going to increase okay at the end all you do because this is an integer right so all i will do i'll convert it to two string okay done click on okay all right so this is done and what output i want right that is there in the output variable pretty simple save it and let's close it okay uh Okay, nothing got saved right everything is proper okay fine so now let's run it okay we'll finally see the output in that particular file okay so let it complete has it completed no okay it has completed now so execution has completed so let's go to that particular file and go to sheet 1 and you can see all the data has come except 1008 because 1008 i have manually deleted for demonstration purpose okay so another problem you might encounter after writing the value there will be some kind of an error okay so to because that is from the excel not from ui path so here what i can do if there is an error just click on this highlight all the data and then highlight this one click on this and convert to number okay so that is one extra thing you may have to do depending on the excel version or if that appears on your excel okay so you have learned right pretty nice example of how to get the data into sheet one so this could be also done if you have multiple excel files even same technique same activities you have to use just that you have to point out to different instead of sheet here you will be pointing out to different files in the sheet okay so this is pretty interesting and this must have added to your knowledge so please do give a like don't forget give a like to this video and please do subscribe to our channel get connected to expo hub family thank you so much you guys have a wonderful day we'll come up with the next video bye bye